Introduction to e-governance. In this video, we are going to see about introduction to e-governance. In India, the government deals with several matters affecting people's lives. It is said, government is all-encompassing as it touches the lives of human beings from cradle, health services for women and children, to grave, payment of pensions, gratuity, etc. Government has to tackle unending problems and challenges emanating from overpopulation, poverty, illiteracy, unemployment and underdevelopment. Government is expected to look after defence, foreign policy, communications and infrastructure, maintenance of land records, maintenance of law and order, collection of revenue, promotion of agriculture, science and technology, international trade, Banking, Insurance, Transport, Social Welfare, Family Planning, etc. Concept and Definition of E-Governance The E in E-Governance stands for Electronic. Thus, e-governance is basically associated with carrying out the functions and achieving the results of governance through the utilization of what has today come to be known as ICT, Information and Communication Technology. The services provided by e-governance is public utility services that is e-citizenship, e-education, e-transportation, e-help, e-taxation, e-registration, e-health. Let us see an example. e-education. This is a glimpse of India's future. It is the most valuable capital in each ego phase that we see it tomorrow's leaders, path breakers and vision makers. Reflecting the country's greatest ambitions, now, India's technological agencies are coming together to ensure that these ambitions are realized through the vehicle of e-education. It is a satellite-driven, web-enabled 21st century solutions to country's most crucial education needs. 2004, an auspicious liftoff of the Indian Space and Research Organization or ISRO EduSat, India's first satellite dedicated to distance education. Partnered by the Indian Ministry of Human Resource Development and other stakeholders from the public and NGO sectors. The EduSat hopes to set up at least 25 to 30 uplink centers across the country. Each uplink centre will reach 5,000 remote centres. The Satellite Network The satellite creates an interactive network for the e-education process by connecting its teaching end and classroom end. It is connecting India's best educators with students who need it the most nationally. Of special notes or modules, designed exclusively for Indian Army soldiers which are broadcasted to Army camps at several locations. As these lessons are uplinked in India and overseas, class is now in session. If e-education is able to create open virtual classrooms, it is only because Indian state government and non-profit agencies like Utkarsh in Haryana are working tirelessly on the ground. Across the nation, these agencies are injecting fresh hope into the community by setting up classroom and terminals where they are most crucially required.
cross borders, there are others whose dreams have now become a reality. As information and communication technology touches millions of young lives, it is nurturing the future tomorrow's doctors, scientists, lawyers, artists and achievers. E-education has sown the seeds, time now to watch them grow. The goals of e-governance are better service delivery to citizens, ushering in transparency and accountability, empowering people through information, improved efficiency within governments, improved interface with business and industry. Interactions between main groups in e-governance G2C Government to Citizens G2B Government to Business G2G Government to Government G2E Government to Employees G2C Government to Citizens Birth Registration Tracking System National Child Labour Project Scheme NCLP Efficient Education System through ICT Comprehensive Healthcare System and Online Banking Services Pension Scheme Government helps citizen by providing services like sports, urban transport, art and heritage, business, education and employment, health, housing, library, law, public safety and many more. With the help of ICT tools, citizens can receive information on transport too. Government facilitates citizens by exchanging new technologies among the governments. Some of the features are Environment, Education, Health, Foreign Affairs, Housing, Manpower, Law and Order and Transport. G2B Government to Business Government approach towards business is much modernized, hassle-free, time-saving, safety for information and retrieve data at faster pace. E-procurement MCA21 EBIS G to G, government to government. Services for government help in making the government processes more efficient and effective. A few examples of services for government are Bhumi Project in Karnataka and Telemedicine Project in Tripura. Bhumi Bhumi is a project initiated by the government of Karnataka to deliver land report online. This makes the system more transparent and empowers citizens to challenge any arbitrary action against them. With over 20 million land records digitized, Bhumi is also an incredible resource for the state. Telemedicine The state of Tripura, nested among 
The northeastern provinces is young and replete with enormous natural wealth and a vibrant culture. One such milestone achievement of the state is in ICT enabled healthcare infrastructure. This minimal infrastructure is built in with the healthcare needs of the state. Use of ICT will facilitate maximum governance with minimum government. G2E Government to Employees Government is by far the biggest employer and like any organization, it has to interact with its employees on a regular basis. This interaction is a two-way process between the organization and the employee. Use of ICT tools helps in making these interactions fast and efficient on the one hand and increase satisfaction levels of employees on the other hand.